Hey guys, hi, happy new year. It's been a fabulous, fabulous start to the new years. I spent my new years staying at home. I've been battling the flu the past two weeks, had a bad throat. I think Bangalore has been doing that to all of us and uh, I'm just recovering from it. It's been a busy schedule and uh, I wanted to post this video on how we did hair at the Soch lookbook uh, shoot. The makeup was done by my student Shema. Uh, this is part of the internship when you do your classes with me. So yeah, Shema did an excellent job. She's been hired for a lot of other projects. And I did hair over here. So just basic on how to curl hair. And yeah, it's really easy. Hey, this is Shema and this is our lovely model. We're doing a makeup at uh, Studio 11. This is Zubair's studio. He's a photographer for the lookbook for Soch today. Shema is going to be doing the makeup and I'm going to be showing you how to tong hair. It's always uh, better for you to have someone help you tong your hair because you don't want to burn your fingers. You can get the front sections but the back sections are a little more difficult to reach and you do get protective gloves also but I would still suggest that you get someone to help with the back of your head. When you're going to curl your hair, what you need to use is any sort of mousse that has a strong hold. When I say strong hold is when you go to pick up a product, a styling product, you got to look at the base of the product and see, you'll see a couple of numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now whichever numbers highlighted, the higher the number, the more hold it will have. So you'll get a harder hold. If you have one, that means it will not hold as long and won't be as uh, strong as the higher number. So I use Rusk Mousse, which is excellent for the hair. You can get it at a local health and glow or you can get it at any local salon. I picked up mine from Peaches, which is very close to my studio. I think it's about 950 rupees a, a bottle and it lasts for a good 50 applications. Of course, apply the mousse to each section like you can see me do. Use any sort of barrel that you think is comfortable. I use the iconic 22-inch uh, uh, barrel. That's quite nice. I have the heat at 180. You don't want it to be too high because you're going to be burning your hair if it's very high and your hair is very thin. The look that we've done is very clean, nude, slight, very, very slight smoky eye on our beautiful model. And uh, this is part of her internship. When she uh, studied with me, she studied for uh, 20 days and it's a three month internship. And it's very important that you do the internship because you learn on location. It's not what you learn in class. Yes, the basics you learn in class, but on location, it's very important for you to come attend, see how we deal with clients, how we uh, speak to the models, how it's done professionally on set. After I curl the hair, I pinned it up individually with clips because when it's hot, it sets. And after it's cooled down, you take out the clips and you get those beautiful curls. Set the hair before you open up the hair. It just makes it easier and the curls stay longer. So uh, you can see the brush that I'm using also. It's a back combing brush. You get it online at Nika. You get it uh, at um, Jane Brothers, which is in Johnson Market. And yeah, it's quite easily accessible. So it's not difficult to get or anything like that. So back comb the hair, just tease the hair slightly, pull, pull it out with the tail of the comb in case you want a little more buff. Make sure that you don't knot up the hair too much. I hope you like this tutorial. Write to me. I hold classes now, uh, personal grooming classes. So in case you want to learn how to do your makeup, get in touch with me. I've already released a couple of dates. Leave comments below. If you leave comments, I can reply to that and tell you when the schedule is. Or you can mail me on sabrinasohail at gmail.com. Yes, subscribe to my channel, share my channel. It'll help a lot. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Write to me. Bye.